Hi everybody, this is Roxy, and I um, showed this little uh, template that I bought at Jet Pens. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, in the last video, and um, somebody asked if I would show how this works, and it's so easy. And I made a few envelopes ready. All you do is these are all the different. There's this size. If you go onto this outside line, you'll get that size envelope, and then you can go to the inside line and get a smaller side and this outside line and this inside line and you can either <clears throat> excuse me cut it with your exacto or what I do I have um, I goofed my hand up when I was in a car accident and so I can't really press on it hard because it hurts so I you know so in other words I can't use an exacto knife <laughs> long story short so I just go around and I um, uh, Bone fold it, you know. What do you call that? Well, I make indentations. <laughs> okay, these are senior moments, ladies. I'm sorry. So, anyways, I just went around and you just go all the way around, and then these it's like a colossal where it has these connectors so that you know you can have all these different shapes in that. <clears throat> so I just went around and did that and then I just cut it out so basically you would be cutting these little connectors on your paper and then I turned it on its side okay well I didn't do it on purpose I accidentally turned it on its side because what I wanted to do I wanted to make I'm I'm kinda of working on a <clears throat> circus album and I'm using um, Tim Holtz uh, oh this is so cool his big top stamp set which is available at Your Paper Pantry and then his um, Retro Grunge paper which is some of this and I wanted to do a scallop top on my envelope and I was going to do this size one but like I said I you know, <clears throat> accidentally turned on its side and see it shows you which way it's supposed to be but of course I didn't wasn't looking <laughs> but anyways I like how it turned out now I've got this is kind of like the Stampin' Up um, scalloped envelope which die and um, then I just made some little tickets to go inside and this ticket is from the Big Top collection and I just um, let me just show you here I just stamped it on some cream cardstock and then I took my um, little I finally got a bunch of these little guys I love them and I just took some of those I took some of the new um, his new colors which is, I did crushed olive to get kind of that aged green look and then I used an old tea dye which is my kind of one of my favorites um, after I used his new barn door ink and embossed it <clears throat> and then on this one this is from the um, this is really a fun one at the movies I'm definitely gonna make little bags of popcorn and this ticket will go with his new ticket strip die, but I didn't get one because I um, filled customer orders before I um, have, I've not ordered all mine yet because they were on back ordered so much and, you know, I can wait. I don't have time to do much anyways. <laughs> but what I did was I took the little stamp, which is somewhere on my mess. There it is. I, I use this stamp and just some archiver ink and I stamped it across this this is kind of a red pepper I think it's basil a red pepper I just stamped it across just lined them up very simple and then I cut it out <clears throat> and to get the little um, I don't know if you can see that maybe I'll put it against some cream here to get the little punch out things, just to make it kind of look more authentic, I just put my crocodile, crocodile. I just used um, <clears throat> the large punch on my crocodile, lined it up, you know, just eyeballed it and did that. And then they easily fold. I crinkled it up and then rubbed it with some tea dye. So if you don't have a big shot, if you didn't get the ticket strip, no need to worry. Mine aren't perforated, but they'd easily pull off. You know, I mean, you could actually perforate them by. Um, there's a tool in sewing that 
it's a little wheel and it, and it um, transfers um, patterns, you know, and they're easy to find. It's just a uh, pattern transfer kit, and you could you could easily do that. It would just put little holes in there for you. But so that's a more economical tip too if you um, don't have that in your budget right now. But here's my little um, envelope, little big top envelope, and here's a little sneak peek at my mini, which I'm um, totally changing already, but this is what I started with, and um, <clears throat> I, I think I'm, there's a technique that Tim does with dye and cut and cut and dry felt, and I'm going to do that, and I'll show you how that works, and uh, we'll talk to you then. Thank you. Bye.